beautiful day here in Scotland today, as you can see, <laughs> which is really appreciated. So today I wanted to talk about what our horses teach us, because on the last video, um, somebody asked that in the comments. And actually, I think in all my videos, there's always something about what the horses are teaching us, but we haven't direct, really talked about that directly as a topic on its own. So as soon as I thought about it, I thought, oh my goodness, this is a never ending <laughs> series of videos of what our horses teaches, what teach us. So I thought, let's start with my favourite topic is presence. Well, the breath, but also um, being present. And I think that is a huge part of what our horses teach us. And that's... Um, very helpful for us in our lives. It's, it's super helpful for working with the horse because when we are present, really important, we keep ourselves safe. I could think every time I've been injured, it's because I wasn't paying attention, I was distracted, I was not fully there or it wouldn't have happened, you know? So that is a huge part of it. And when we're working with our horses, um, my teacher was a student of Nuno and that came up a lot was the thing about one of our greatest tasks as a horse man person <laughs> is to um, try to react as quick as the horse because the horse is always going to have quicker reactions than us because they are fully present and it's instinctive, it's intuitive. So um, our task to try and keep up with that, you know, so we can get the right feel, get the right timing and do everything on the right moment is a huge task of it. And, you know, in our own lives, um, when we're not present, we miss so much, you know, we miss so much of what's actually here in the moment and we miss out on joy. You know, why are we spending this moment worrying about things that happened in the past that we can't change, <laughs> worrying about things in the future that might never happen. And I'm very good at both things. So, um, of course, the horse is a fantastic example of that. I was just watching them out in the field and suddenly there was some deer jumped uh, the fence in the next field and they all got spooked and went running across the field. And, um, you know, they were, oh, and then two minutes later, they're happily grazing because nothing's happening, you know? And of course, that was a scary thing on the moment. But they're not standing there afterwards going, oh, what if that happens again? Oh, my God. Oh, my. Oh, oh, oh. You know, they just say, OK, now everything's calm and quiet again. There's no reason to be nervous. You know, they don't do those thought processes. So for us, it's a fantastic practice, you know, and only when we do that and be present, do we have a hope of um using our intuition and our instinct, you know, when our mind's so busy, it's taking over and it's um, yeah, just feeding us a load of thoughts that, I mean, where do they even come from? Are they even true? Are they even my thoughts? <laughs> what do you think, Biscuit? <laughs> he looks like he's about to go to sleep. We were going to do a bit of work. And the other two are here because <laughs> there's so much grass. I was like, right, you can all come in for a few hours and um, then we'll go back out after. So I hope that um, means something to you as well. And it's one of, like I said, the great pleasures of having a horse is all the things we can learn from them. And being present is definitely one of them. And that is uh, towards being our best self for them so that we can be more horse-like and treat them in a more respectful way and have a better communication, you know, a better connection. Are you just warning little Bing, don't come too close? Look at that face. <laughs> Bing's like, oh, okay, I'm off. Okay, biscuit yeah look at them they're so funny so yes and of course being present is first noticing when we're not you know so suddenly we're off thinking about something else worrying about something else planning whatever so when we notice that happening the for me the important part is to be gentle on ourselves and not say oh my god i'm distracted again can i really not just even stay present <laughs> for two minutes um so it's to say, well, thank goodness that I noticed because that moment we notice that we're not present, we've become present, haven't we? So that's a very important um, no point to notice that and be kind to ourselves and say, oh, thank goodness, back in the moment. And of course, when we notice um, <sighs> a breath is always a great one. You know, I'm a great believer in the breath and to be more present if we can keep that 
the cycle of breath going and some awareness and I love the ah, breath you know it's very hard to be ah, in your head when we're up in our mind we're kind of like frozen and we're breathing very shallow and not uh, not in our body a horse is living in his body so how can we communicate and have a connection and relationship to them when we're all so busy in our head and not even aware of what our body is doing and then we start to listen to our instinct our intuition keeps us safe and is so much more healthy for everything spirit the whole lot so thank you very much for joining us today i'm going to give biscuit a little bit of a uh, exercise i'm going to join him <laughs> do some running up and down the arena myself and get those nice long straight lines in could do with some exercise as well so look forward to see you next time keep tuning into the light and have a wonderful day mm -hmm.